Hey guys, welcome to another Sony Vegas tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make see-through text. Now you, you've probably seen this in other people's montages and stuff like that. And it's actually really, really easy to do. So I have some footage in here, right? And uh, we're going to add another track. By holding down Control, Shift and Q, I added another track. So since this one is highlighted as blue, we can go up to Insert text media okay so now we get a text sample up and uh, or a sample text up and then we just write vegas for gamers right then we can change the size of it so actually let's, let's change the font first let's change it into something that i'm actually allowed to use so Let's use the Bada Boom BB, just because we can, right? So, as you can see, the, the letters right here, just a quick tutorial on how to do, like, work with the letters as well. Um, since we want more spacing in between the words, we go into place, no, into properties, and then we go into the leading and tone that one up a little bit. Actually, that wasn't the one that I was supposed to use, or was it? Nope, it was not. Double click on it to just reset it. It's the tracking, I believe. There we go. My mistake, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> if you look at the clock down here, you can see it's actually 3, almost 4 a.m. in the morning. Yes, I've been recording a lot of videos today. And I'm still at it. <laughs> so, yeah. Now we have spacing in between on the tracking. It's all fine dandy. We, need, we don't need to mess around with anything else in here. Uh, so what we do is we go to, we actually go into, well, we actually stay in here. What you do is you actually, this is really, really simple stuff to do. Background color, tone that one up. And the alpha on the actual, actual text color, tone that one down. Oh my God, what just happened? Do we have see-through letters? Yes, we do. Let's see if we can uh, increase the font a little bit just to make it a little more interesting. Let's change this one to 96, see what happens. Yes. So let's stretch it out like that. And then what do we do? We add, we go into transitions. We're gonna add a transition. We're gonna have it, actually we're not gonna, since it's this stuff, we're not going to add transitions. We're just going to have one second fade in. And then we're going to have a one, two second fade in on this one. And then we're going to do the same thing on the fade outs. This is, this is stuff that can be really, really cool for an intro. Um, one second. We got too far. Yes, there we go. And two seconds. So let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at that. Oh my God, see? We got see-through stuff. That is really awesome. That is really awesome. I mean, we could also have made it like, let's, let's try changing the text around a little bit. Let's go in here. Wow, that's really huge, huh? That's what she said. Just kidding. No, I'm not. <laughs> we'll do like that. Vegas for gamers. Or have it be like that. And then we can actually increase the font size. Let's do that. Let's increase the font size to 126. Maybe even more. 144. See, now we took it to a whole new level. See how that looks. That is pretty cool, huh? So you, you can do your intros with stuff like this or other things, I guess. I mean, it can come handy in so many ways. You could actually have this as a transition as well. If you wanted some text in for a transition to something else happening. 
But yeah, that looks pretty cool, huh? Very easy to do. I've seen other people do it. And I thought it would be a cool tutorial to do. This is actually the first time I've tried to do it. Well, I did it once before I made the tutorial, so I kind of cheated, right? I'm a cheater. <laughs> but yeah, that's how you make see-through text. It's very, very simple. Very simple. But effective. Very, very effective. But yeah, uh, you can also add some effects to this, but there's a lot of... There's a lot of effects that doesn't they don't really work too well with uh, with text so um, Transition works fine, but there's a lot of these effects that just don't work too well with uh, See nothing happens and Then you know What is this? Film effects, let's try that See it adds it to everything now because we actually have uh, a background color on here, which kind of sucks, but you you can do it and it works, but Maybe we shouldn't use the that one. Let's take the low quality one instead See how that looks Still looks pretty cool still looks pretty cool. We can probably go into the uh, effects and then do something about it the tint uh, grain tint, tone that down a little bit. See, like that. Then turn up for the grains just a little bit. 250, that's fine. Let's put this one to 150. Why won't it do that? I'm sorry about the loud noises. It wouldn't let me punch in manually. Some odd reason. Okay. Well, sc screw your numbers then. 152 then. That's fine. Let's have a look at that. I'm sorry. I'm just playing around with it now since we got it. You know, I already showed you. But see, that could be pretty cool for an intro, right? Pretty cool stuff. But yeah, some effects just don't work too well with it. Just because now that we are in the, uh, come on. Now that we're in here in the uh, properties and we actually have an actual background on, it works as an entire layer now. But yeah, the only thing that really doesn't work is the letters because they're also transparent now. So, uh, so yeah. But you could increase this and, and put some color on it. So if you want like, let's, let's try to do that. One last thing, you know, just, just to be thorough about this stuff and actually have a, a real video. So let's do this. Just try to keep, what the hell? And tone it down. See, now you have a red effect going on as well on it. Let's tone it up just a wee bit like this. Looks like something people would do online. A really, really old Kung Fu movie or something. <laughs> let's just do it anyways. Oh shit, we still have the uh, transparency on the background as well. We don't want that. Actually, why is, the, why is that transparent? Why is that? The black stuff shouldn't be transparent at all, actually. Oh, it's because of the film grain, I guess. Let's go back and change that so we can actually make it look fine. Yeah. If you tone down the grain, it won't become as transparent. So just put it like that. And then see how that actually tone down the red as well. Go into this and then tone it down just a wee bit because it was a little much like that. There you go. It's like an old Kung Fu slash soft porn movie. <laughs> but yeah. All kinds of stuff you can do. Like, I, like I've said before in other tutorials, it's only your imagination that sets the limits, guys. Okay? Toy around with these things. Figure out what works for you, what doesn't work for you. And you know what? If you make mistakes, so what? So what? You can always redo it, right? So yeah, that's how you do that. Let's play it one last time. Like that.
See, ain't that beautiful? Ain't that beautiful? But yeah, if you like this video, guys, please thumb it up and uh, leave me a comment. What do you think about this uh, this tutorial? If you have any suggestions for any tutorials or if you have any problems or questions, leave me a PM and uh, share the video with your friends, guys. That would help me out a lot. And uh, take care, have fun. See you all in the next one.